let us in on how you felt when you first received this news or when you saw that allegation how did it come to you it was shocking to me because since the new president came in president bola Ahmed Tinubu, we've decided to change the narratives based on what his visions are and we decided that that issue of women not supporting women must have to come to an end and we moved on again to see how we change the narrative towards the women's lives of which you know we're the poorest only 10 percent of women own properties in the country you can imagine and then again we're the most vulnerable and we're the poorest like i said before so this is what i've been concentrating working towards with the help of mr president and a lot of other people that are helping so it really shocked me that a member of the house who is actually in charge of women could come out. I want to look at it that she actually made a mistake because we will not tolerate a woman bringing down another woman anymore. We are supposed to concentrate all together in making women's lives better, working on protecting the lives and properties of girls and women. Do you so think this is really, me. yes, I mean, understandably so yes. too. Do you think this is really just about women, uh, you know, trying to bring down women? Or is it a matter of uh, uh, an oversight role that she's playing and to ensure that uh, there's accountability and transparency? <laughs> is she wrong in asking, you know, the questions that need to be asked about your ministry and your handling of your ministry? She didn't ask a question. Right. She called my name, not the ministry's name. Let me correct you. Mm -hmm. And if she was trying to ask questions, since I came into the office, I've not handled any constituency project. So whatever she meant or they were talking about was things that happened before I came. You, you heard all she I had to say before there. I came. <laughs> Have you, you know, seized the opportunity to, to explain your side of the story at all before this um, oversight uh, committee? Have my, you done that? My dear sister, I have nothing to explain because if they were actually investigating anything, everybody is termed uh, not guilty until you're found guilty. And wh how can they be investigating me? I've not done anything. I've not done any constituency project. I've not been in charge of any since I came in. Have they invited you to come respond no, to they, questions? No, they actually went to... Uh, account to find out whether they have been paid and when they got some papers from accounts what the paper said well, they had a lot of discrepancies in the report the paper said they paid some other companies and uh, the people they were owing 50 million they said they paid 80 million they were so the house was like let them move on to call the accountant general and find out where the loopholes were coming from. It wasn't on me. It was an issue of unraveling the things concerning the constituency project of which many were not yet done. So she doesn't have, she did not have any reason to come on air to say what she said. But like I said, I will not fight my fellow woman. What I will do is that I will make sure she realizes that the narratives have changed. And she has to join the wagon. The, the narrative, wagon. The narrative now is that we women should focus on how we uplift ourselves. Because there are a lot of poverty amongst women. And so many women don't have properties except 10%. We need to include them in so many things politically and otherwise. We have a lot to deal with. There are a lot of defilement, maltreatment on women, killings. So many things that are very important. And listen, I am not ready to steal for anybody and go to jail. I'm not gonna do that. I want to concentrate on my job and that we not accept any distraction. Well, uh, the good thing, you're a lawyer apart from being a minister and we understand that uh, uh, there are you know, modalities you really must follow before you come to that conclusion. Uh, she just said that uh, they've not even started the investigation. Yes. Uh, and she also alleged that the uh, complaints uh, about you are many, many. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, are you ready to let this you know go without a fight because of women 
<laughs> not fighting women because uh, someone has just come, a member of your party, yes. to, to, to say uh, yes. the, the least, has said... Not only am I a chairman of my ministry. Yes, of your ministry. Because uh, she was also saying to Nigerians that they will not spare you if, if they found they you found wanting. Yes. So speak to us on what you, as a per party person and as a professional, a lawyer, mm -hmm. would ordinarily do uh, to clearly air on these uh, very uh, odious uh, allegations around you. I am not ready to say that here. I'm sorry. What I said is that I will make sure, I'm assuring Nigerians, that she will learn how to behave better. And we will help her re-navigate her to the new narratives. How has I will I, do I, that, I, I will has, not say it has, uh, Have you gotten any uh, call on this uh, from your party hierarchy? Because uh, this would also look Nobody like a party affair. Nobody will take what she said seriously. I've not seen petitions against me. And again, if she had a lot of petitions against me, any normal person will first of all carry out an investigation. And when investigations are being carried out, it's somebody supposed to come out on TV to talk about it. So I want you to be the judge. But I am not, like I said, I will not say anything, but I'm assuring Nigerians that I will re-navigate have, ah. have you been uh, invited? Are you understanding by, uh, my Have point you been invited by any of the uh, anti agencies? agencies? No, I was anti-corruption for what? Okay. No anti-corruption agency invited me. So are For you what? saying? Are you saying if uh, For what? If uh, where is the invited? money that I even? <laughs> are you saying that if you're invited, you would not, uh, you know, show up to the anti-corruption uh, agency? Invited? Whether it's the anti-corruption agency, whether it's that committee that oversights Why your, wouldn't the committee, your ministry, if the ministry there's discrepancies in the payments mm -hmm. and they're trying to figure things out. Why won't I answer them if I'm called? Okay. I have to respect the house. Right. If I'm called, I will go there, but I'm not afraid of anything because I've done nothing. Okay, so the point is you haven't been invited yet. Is that what you're saying? No, they've so invited our it. office, not okay. me not in you. particular. Okay, great. They needed the account mm. to be able to sort the discrepancies out. All right. Uh, Are you understanding my yes, point? Yes, yes. They were not focusing it on me because I didn't commit any crime. Okay. So it shocked me that my name was mentioned. But it's just a pity it happened like that. What's the relationship between you both as uh, so members of the same party? She's a House of Rep member. I have no issues with her. I had none with her. And I myself am a minister. There are two separate places. She has her place. I have mine. And I'm focusing on mine. All right. Speaking of So I'm not on like the... saying right. I will do this, I'll do that. But I'm assuring Nigerians I will renavigate her to the right track so that she joins the wagon of the new narratives that women should work together to change our lives, to change the sufferings. That All right, but I, I'm sure you're not saying that women should work together where uh, corruption, you know, is concerned. But let's let's leave that matter. There are yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Women can work co uh, together in corruption Great. because all of us are supposed to be fighting the corruption. W why women only 10% have uh, properties today is due to corruption. So for us to defend the women, protect their rights, the first thing you must fight is corruption. And it's obvious, God knows, I'm doing that. Okay, great. I don't take it for granted anybody that tries to use either corruption, intimidation on any child or woman. You I know, come out openly to fight.